in preventing same faith tickets of either Muslim, Muslim or Christian Christian for president and vice president of Nigeria by any political party. After the 2023 general election, the Senate is seeking amendment to Section 84 of the 2022 Electoral Act. Move in this direction was made by Senator Smart Adeyemi APC Kogi West on Sunday by showing a draft copy of a bid to that effect to journalists covering the Senate. Adeyemi at the press briefing said the controversy Muslim Muslim presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress APC generating in the policy necessitated the move. According to him, the to prevent future occurrence, a new sub section is being proposed to section 84 of the 2022 electoral act section 84 of the principal act will be amended by inserting a new subsection 3 which we state thus no political party shall nominate candidates of the same religion as presidential candidates and vice presidential candidates after the 2023 election when this is accommodated it will serve as a guide against any oversight such as this in the future as further occurrences will be deemed as light policy which is capable of bringing down the fabrics of the nation he said he added that wide range consultations on the need for the amendment have been made with the leadership of the senate and other colleagues he however said though apprehensions raised by the christian association of nigeria can over same faith presidential tickets were genuine, but the broad mindedness and pedigree of Ashiwaju Bola Tinumbu and Kashim Shetima would allay all fears being raised. Tinumbu and Shetima, he added, should be assessed based on their pedigrees and not their religious faith or even political party. Nigerians should look at the individual candidates contesting for the presidency in 2023 and not the political parties they belong to. Or religion, the practice. Based on my conviction, despite the same faith ticket, Tinubu and Shetima are the best for the country come 2023. They have demonstrated required capacities, competence, and commitment while in office as executive governors of Lagos and Borno State rest separately. Ashwaju Tinubu, in particular, demonstrated his pan Nigeria disposition with his cabinet composition devoid of tribal or religious sentiments. He and Shasima are in actual facts Nigeria candidates that should be voted for, he said. He lampooned the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PD, alleged Atikwa Babakar for violating the zoning policy of his political party by declaring it is the turn of the South to produce the next president. He also took a swipe at the presidential candidates of the Labour Party for believing in street show which cannot in any way be used to win election. His Excellency Peter B. ought not to have left PDP as required structure for presidential election. Street show or one million match being displayed by Peter B. supporters cannot win presidential election. Oh, not even social media again because he, you don't know what they talk. Tinumbu that is, is doing your party that has no nonsense. You are telling us that uh, it's fine. Other people own oh, is not fine. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, the Senate should insert rational, uh, rotational presidency. This will solve the entire problems and it should extend to the state. Federal character is in the constitution already. It's just that PDP and Atiku decided to be mischievous. Everything starts now. Any party with same faith candidate is not capable to rule Nigeria. We don't even support that because they are highly biased, selfish, intolerant, and wicked. It will shock you when Obi is declared winner of 2023 general election. Well, nonsense opinion starts now. Who told you that uh, Tifnumbu and Shetima had the best? Of course, they are his party men. What do you expect him to say? They are his party men. So even if he does not even believe in them, he's not going to come out out there to tell you they are not the ones out they just want to support because of what they are going to get their juicy appointment honestly nigeria is not healthy to witness same faith ticket now this is an afterthought who cares who do you think they are deceiving where 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 were they when same faith ticket was being hatched by the way why is it difficult for you the muslim fulanis to change the choice of the muslim muslim tickets 
you want Christians to wait for another eight years of Fulani hegemony and religious clamp down on Nigerians and thereby digging the citizens' graves under Islamic religion. You can only tell babies this dead story. If you are amending the constitution, you are doing that for the northern Muslims, not northern and southern Christians. All your hidden agenda must lay bare until you unveil that your last card. Why future occurrence? Why not before the so 20, uh, 2023 election apc are now stopped talking about social media presidency yes they are now saying that one million match cannot win election it's like they are planning rigging yes that is what they are hoping on but they are failed yes so they are not talking about a uh, one million match cannot be uh, a social media again they are not talking about a uh, one million match you see there they should extend the bill to other areas like employment in the state and federal civil services after the electoral act, Christians are hardly recruited into the civil services now. However, Sydney Bush Etima should not succeed. <laughs> not a social media. A social media does not win election. Now, one million match again does not win election. Honorable Senator, you are talking from the two sides of your mouth. You are campaigning for your faith party the same time trying to talk sense for amending section 84 of the electoral act. It should extend to the state level because the 36 states of Nigeria have percentage of Christians and Muslims. But you find out most states in the north practice one religion, faith in section, in selection of governor and their deputies, which are the main cause in ending of religious crisis in the north. Secondly, Senator Smart, I will always admire. I always admire your presentation of bees at the Senate, of which touch on national important issues. But at this time, can you tell Nigerians what we convince them to re-elect APC into power again with abysmal failure? No, they didn't. They don't need to tell you anything because whatever they tell you now is all lie. They will do nothing. They will do no jack. Nigeria should reject same fee tickets for national, even in the state where they have equal region, religion for fairness and equity. Yes. The duo of Tinubu and Shetima are part of uh, protagonists in virtually, virtually all the disaster that has befallen this nation since 2015. For the reason, for that reason, they are disqualified. Enough of this uh, madness of a uh, this government you are speaking from the from both sides of your mouth to both of your mouth hope you are not even a person of multiple image of course images this man contradicts himself why are you proposing a new bid that kicks against same face presidential tickets and campaigning for batman and shetima at the same time i don't even get it where well, higher level of political foolishness can you imagine apc level of thinking shallow and uh, clueless